What's up guys? This is Chris with Murphy Firearms Training. I have got an AR pistol with an SBA3 brace. Got a cool muzzle brake on it. It's just point towards the enemy. Kind of a, it's a fun hand guard that I bought. It's a, it's a neat little build that I did and I enjoy it. Um, just uh, took the red dot off recently and put it on something else. I'm trying to figure out what I want to put on it. But anyway, got this PSA lower. Palmetto State Armory. Uh, it's just a decent kind of lower. I, I bought it because it was on sale, came with the brace, and it was a, a cheap way to get this brace, um, get another lower. But anyway, here it is, uh, standard lower, and uh, I want to replace the pins that come in this gun with these. These are stainless steel anti-walk pins. So they actually screw into each other. It's a screw instead of just a slip pin. So I want to walk you through how to do that. If you've got an AR-15 that you enjoy, um, I can't recommend enough anti-walk pins. They're great. I put them in all my ARs. I've had this um, couple of weeks and I've taken it to the range once and, and just did a little bit of shooting, cleaned it up, kind of left it like it was and said, hey, I want to get around to doing that. And then I said, well, why not film it so folks can see how to do it? It's not that hard. Um, uh, you know, I did buy this as a complete lower. If you were building a lower, um, I would just install these while you're putting your lower parts kit in, okay? That's not what this video is about. This is you bought an off-the-shelf AR. Uh, so you're going to start by pushing these two pins here and here out. And some folks find it helpful to use something like a punch to just finish pushing those. Usually, unless the gun's super, super tight, I can push them enough that I can do that. Pull them out here and this one's going to be picky but i think i can get it there it goes pull it out okay pull those out take your upper off so there's your upper assembly and anybody ever talks about uppers and lowers there's your upper okay set that to the side we don't need that everything we're going to do is on the lower okay everything we're going to do is on the lower and we're looking at these two pins here and if you look down in the lower that pin there that pin that you see further back that pin actually is what holds your trigger. That's your trigger pivot pin. So there's your trigger. And then this pin here holds your hammer. Okay. Now what I have found, the easiest way to do this, okay, the easiest way to do this is, let me go ahead and get these anti-walk pins out, show you what comes in the kit. Now I bought this kit from a, a specific company, but tons of companies make these. I buy a lot of parts from KM Tactical. Um, and I'm not going to say that they're the greatest or the best or anything like that, but they're very reasonably priced and, and they make a lot of different AR gadgets. And, and so um, I've, I've put a few of their parts in a few guns. We'll just leave it at that. Okay. And um, yeah, so anyway, but so here's what I would recommend. You've got your anti-walk pin and this is going to go in one side and then it's threaded. Okay. So if you look real close up, it's threaded, and this will actually thread into the other end once it's in the gun. And voila, especially if you put a little blue thread locker on it, voila, it won't come loose. It can't slide out because it's threaded. Unlike the stock pins, which under a lot of recoil, a lot of shooting, sometimes these will work to one side or the other, and all of a sudden your trigger won't work. Uh, and it all depends on how tight they are from the factory. But what So what I want to do, got my top and my bottom separated, I take a little punch and I just want to get this started. A couple of wraps. And I want to show you, I don't know how well you can see that, but this is just below flush. There we go. Just below flush. That's kind of what I'm shooting for. Just below flush. Okay. Just below flush. Now I'm going to take this pin here. This is my anti-walk pin. And I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to use this polymer into this mallet. And what I'm going to do is literally let that pin chase the other one. And it'll get you most of the way. Sometimes it'll go all the way. But you see it didn't quite line up. It didn't quite line up with the hole here. Okay, didn't quite line up with the hole. So I'm gonna torque that hammer while I push on the other side till it does line up. So you just torque that hammer till it lines up. And on the other one, you'll torque the trigger till it lines up. And then we're going to take our Allen screw, okay? And if you really, really want, you put a little dab of blue Loctite, okay? Or blue thread locker. It doesn't have to be Loctite brand. 
Um, and these actually come with Allen wrenches. Some of them don't, but um, the ones I bought actually came with Allen wrenches. And so I'm going to put one Allen wrench on that side. Okay. Be nice if I had this in a lower vise instead of doing it on the table here. But I'm going to put that on one side. And I'm going to put this one on the other. And I'm going to tighten it up pretty snug. Get the Allen wrench in there good. Tighten that up good and snug. Okay. And like I said, if you really want, you can put a little blue Loctite. Okay. Cool. So I've got that done. There's the original pin. I'll drop that in my spare parts bucket in case I need it. Take a small metal punch, put it on the trigger pin, and your goal is to get this again below flush. But don't get it so far that the trigger starts getting crazy. Um, that may even be, if you see how much that's sticking out, that may even be too much. Um, that may be a little too much, but it's it's it'll it'll work. And again, you're going to take this, and I use the plastic side of my mallet so I don't mar my gun. And uh, what you're doing basically is you're letting this original pin lead this one through the gun. And that time it lined up, I didn't have to do anything. So. Um, it's real nice when that happens. So if you want to install anti-walk pins, that's how I do it. And uh, it makes the job really easy. Um, if you do it right, uh, about four out of five times, you actually don't have to do anything other than just hammer it in. Because the original pin leads the new pin through the channel where it needs to go. Okay? All right. So here we go. Get this tightened up. And get the uh, Allen wrench on the other side here. And again, we're just going to put an Allen on one side. We're going to put an Allen on the other. And we're going to tighten these two screws up. Okay, tighten these up. Come on. It's not wanting to go. It's like we got a boogered thread or something. Yeah, come on. Let's see. We love when that happens. You can't get something to quite work right on camera. But uh, you'll tighten this screw down. Again, if I can get it to go. Um, Alright, we'll tighten this screw down. There it goes. So get that side, get the other side, and nice and snug, voila. And now you have got anti-walk pins in your lower, and so as you're firing this, you're not going to have a pin work its way in or out. Of course, to put this gun back together, you're going to make sure, because you work on a gun and you get this, one of the pins is... A lot of times it'll be like that. It'll just barely be pushed in and it won't go back together. So make sure those are all the way out, both of them. Drop your upper. And it doesn't matter if the hammer's up or down. Um, drop your upper in and you're going to work it until these holes line up. And usually, if it's not lining up, you need to push it back. That's usually the issue. Sometimes you need to push it down, but most of the time you got to push it back. Your two pins are lined back up, and then I just check for function. So, work your bolt, fire your gun, you know, everything works. Pins are in. So, now you've got your anti-walk pins in your AR-15, and you don't have to worry about these guys working loose on a day at the range. So, that's how you install anti-walk pins. I hope that's helpful to you guys. Um, I actually have another pack that I'm installing another AR today, so... I'm going to turn the camera off, do the other one, and, you know, make sure that this doesn't happen to any of my ARs. So, if it's helpful, please uh, give us a like, give us a, a subscription, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. We do appreciate the support. Thanks, guys.